there one team that you coached that just not necessarily stood out but just surprised you in their abilities, maybe good or bad? I don't know if you want to comment on that. Is there is there one? Maybe there's two. You coached a lot of teams. Well, there was a number of them. Uh, my first team here, uh, we went to a Final Four. Mm -hmm. And that was, uh, I probably thought that that's the way it was supposed to be because I'd just <laughs> been to three straight at UCLA. Right. And, right. and that's the way it was supposed to be. And I probably thought the ne next year, I probably thought the same thing. But the, the second year's team that I had, we didn't have a single player that had ever started in a varsity game. Mm -hmm. And uh, we ended up winning 23 games that year. And uh, that was probably one of the proudest uh, years that we had. Obviously, when you win championships or make Final Fours, those are all special years. And, and, but I, I just, uh, I, it's, you can't hardly have favorites winning the first national championship. Boy, it'd be hard to, to beat yeah, that. Yeah, uh, 1982. Yeah, and, and I mean, the second one is, yeah. It was the second one was easier for me because we'd already in '80 we'd already been to two Final Fours mm -hmm. and hadn't won a championship. Mm -hmm. So the questions always can Crum win the big one. Yeah. And uh, so once you get that monkey off your back, then and you do it. Now the next one was was actually a lot more fun simply because I wasn't under the same pressure. Mm -hmm. uh, but the first one's always very special. Well, they didn't nick you Cool Hand Luke for nothing or Mr. Marsh.